We are often tossed and driven on the restless seas of time. Somber skies and howling tempests off the feet of bright sunshine. In that land of perfect day, when the mists have rolled away, we will understand it better. This day that he have made, we will rejoice and be glad in him. Thank God for this Bible study lesson this evening. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we thank you for your goodness and your kindness and your grace and your mercy. Your God that sees and a God that cares and for that, Lord God, we tell you thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for this Bible study lesson. Thank you, Lord God, for everyone, Lord God, that is tuning in and everyone that is here. We thank you. Teach us, Lord God, and we will be taught. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. I'm doing a series on the book of James. Uh, James is the half-brother of Jesus. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, James is a straight shooter. He really just tell you just like it is. I've been doing a series uh, from the book of James for, uh, for, about, for about a month now. But at the same time, uh, James is one of the ones that didn't really believe in Jesus until he saw Jesus doing miracles and all, all, of, all of that. And this is his half brother. Uh, so, but I want to say that James, uh, he just really just keep it real with us. When you when you were reading and studying the word of God, uh, he really just let you let you just just soak it up by him by you reading the word of God and by him telling you. What thus says the Lord? Uh, is he, he, he talks about hearing and doing the word of God. And I thought about uh, what John said uh, about Jesus, which is uh, John 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 uh, said it like this: "And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth." This is what John said, that the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. We still talking about the word now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into the Bible study lesson uh, coming from the book of James, chapter one, verses 19 to 26. And I'm just gonna hit the runway and take off. It said, wherefore my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. But if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he is being not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed in, in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious and bridle not his tongue, but deceive his own heart, this man religion is vain. James just tell you just like it is. James is a straight shooter. Uh, verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. This is a key verse because it, it expresses three topics that James develops, later hearing, speaking, and rap. And swift mean happening quickly. You will miss something if you don't be swift to hear God or his preaching. We should always be swift to hear the word of God. We come uh, to Bible study on Tuesday night, 
Sunday school on Sunday morning and then right after Sunday school uh, is worship service. But we come to hear the word of God and receive the word of God. Bible study, Sunday school, and worship service. But we ought to be doers of the word. Here's what James is saying. Hearing and doing the word of God. Yeah, we hear the word of God every time we come to church for Bible study, for Sunday school, for worship service. But we have to be doers of the word as well. We, 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 we can't get away from being doers of, of the word. Because I I, uh, I like what uh, what the book of Proverbs chapter 15 verse 1 says. It says, uh, be angry but sin not. You know, uh, you know, it, it, it goes on to tell us to uh, 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 don't let the sun go down on your wrath. He said, kind words turns away wrath. This is what he's saying in Proverbs chapter 15, verse, verse 1. Soft words or either kind words turns away wrath. Because here's, here's the thing. Uh, when it talks about wrath, it talks about punishment. Uh, God chastises the ones he loves. That's the wrath of God. You, 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 when it talks about wrath, it talks about punishment. He chastises us when, when we get out of line. But I like uh, what, what it says about being swift to hear and slow to speak and be angry but sin not. We have to always be mindful that the enemy is running rampant. And you might get into a confrontation with someone, but you got to you got to understand and know that it's not the person, it's the spirit in the person. So we have to we have to be mindful and be swift to hear them and slow to speak on any given matter because if somebody uh, arguing with you and you are not arguing with them uh, you, 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 you're you diffusing the situation but if you argue back with them then you know you're adding fuel to the fire and it should not be because the enemy, like I said, is running rampant and he really is after the saints. So we have to stay in our word. And when we come, like I said, the Bible study, the Sunday school, the worship service, we have to hear what thus says the Lord through the teacher or either the preacher. Because uh, when you're hearing the word of God, you're receiving the word of God. But you got to let the word of God fall on good, round, good grounds because the enemy uh, come and steal the word out of your heart. So you have to be mindful. Because the devil, he don't he don't want you to receive God's word. He he he, he wants you to really think on what you, you think you know. But when you know what you know, you go on what you know, which is the word of God. And like I say, be swift to hear God and his preaching. I like I like I like what uh verse twenty said. Verse twenty said, "For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God." Trials require silence and patience because talk inflames anger, and anger inflames talk. Anger also distracts from listening to God. So we have to be mindful that we be silent when we're going through trials. Uh, I, I remember when I first started in this uh, uh, this series with the book of James. Uh, James said, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptation. But 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 we're going to go through some things. We're, we're not exempt from going through. We have to stay in the word of God because this is all we need is the word of God. Because the performance is in the word of God. We have to stay rooted and grounded in the word of God. Ephesians chapter 4 says it like this. When, when, when we're going through and, 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 and people are, uh, how could I say it, persecuting you, talking and saying all manner of things about you. Yes, we do get angry. 
The, the, the Bible tells us in, in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26, it says, Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon the, your wrath. Wrath means punishment because, like I said, you, you might get into a confrontation with somebody, but you got to defuse that thing. You can't add fuel to the fire. You know, you got to you gotta know that you're a child of God and that you, you got to do what thus says the Lord. Even Jesus got angry in the temple. You know? So this is why the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 say, be angry and sin not. We have, we have to defuse it. We can't add fuel to the fire. We got to know that we know that we know the word of God for ourselves. Because our parents can't do it. Our siblings can't do it. Because one day we got to meet God for ourselves. And we want to hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Come on in and enter into the joy of the Lord. So we gotta we gotta know this word. Not only know it, but we gotta we gotta tell other peoples about God's goodness. Because everybody don't know God. And we might be the only Bible somebody might ever read. So we have to be mindful and steadfast in the word of God. Be like that tree planted by the rivers of water, steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. So don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Be mindful. That the enemy is running rampant because he, he 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 he's not in hell. Just so you know, he's still running rampant. He's still running rampant. Even even when 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 Job went through, uh, before Job went through, here's here, here's what God said to the enemy because he's seen it there. He seen Satan uh, walking to and fro. He said, "Have you considered my servant Job?" And God already knew because God is God. And he already knew that Satan wanted to have his way with Job. But here's what I like about Job. Job was a man uh, 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 that in true evil, he was a man of integrity. Even though he went through, the enemy had his way with him. But at the same time, Job kept his mind stayed on God because I can say that because the enemy went back to God and said, if, if you take the heads from around him, uh, uh, I'll make, make him curse you to your face. God said, just don't touch his soul. And we know Job went through a lot. He, he, he lost his family, he lost his cattle, he lost everything he had. Even his three friends said, Job, you must have did something. And his wife told him, say, you ought to curse your God and die. Now here's a woman that he married. He, he, I'm, I'm just going. I'm just going to uh, uh, say it like this. Job must have said to us, "Say you, you, you supposed to be a Christian. You, 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 you was on the deaconess board. Uh, uh, you ushered in the church. You, you was on the on on the feed committee uh, uh, ministry, and, and you were talking like that, telling me how to curse my God and die. Come on, you supposed to be a Christian. You supposed to be my wife. You supposed to be following me as I follow Christ." But some people will uh, uh, talk like that. But you got to be mindful that it's, it's that it's that devilish spirit that that's in the person. But here's another thing I like about Job. Job, uh, 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 he prayed for his friends after they, they said what they said to him. Job prayed for his friend, and God restored Job after Job prayed for his friends. And Job, and Job got double for his trouble. He 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 he, 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 he everything he lost. God gave him double for it. Because here's what Job said. Job said, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. That's what he said. Job was a man of integrity and he in true evil. Job, 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 he was true to God. He stayed on God's side. He didn't give up. And so we, we, we can't give up. You know, Jesus went through, so we're going to go through some stuff too. But if we got the word inside of us, Planted in our heart, rooted and grounded in the Word of God. The enemy can come any kind of way he wants to. But we got the Word. Even when, when Jesus, when the enemy tried Jesus, J Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that received out of the mouth of God. He even took Jesus up on the pinnacle and said, I, I, All of this I give to you. I imagine Jesus was saying, You must be a fool. I already own all of this. The earth of the Lord, the fullness of the hell, the world, and everyone that dwells therein belongs to God. Even the cattle on a thousand hills belong to God. 
Jesus came down through 42 generations, wrapped himself in the womb of a virgin, was born of a woman, came to save humanity. So how the devil gonna try to trick Jesus with foolishness when Jesus already the, 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 the chief cornerstone of the church? We gotta be heroes and doers of the word of God. Like I said, James is a straight shooter. Verse 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. And graft the word might be better to be translated and planted word and may reflect Christ's parable of the seed planted in the four different soils. Both Christ and James focus on the proper hearing. So we, 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 we got we, we got to always be rooted and grounded in the word of God. Because there, 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 are, there are some people that say they know God, say they live the word, but is the word in them. You got to know that you live for the Lord because he saved you. He brought you out of sin and shame. And with that being said, we, we still going to go through some stuff. Even though uh, this par parable accurately describes the word, the word's work of producing initial salvation. It is better in this context to understand it has the word's ability to preserve and, and mature the Christian life through trials. This is how we, 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 we mature. See, when we go through, we, 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 we got to keep on going through because uh, uh, God said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. And so when we're going through, we shouldn't have no pity party. We're going to go through some trials and, 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 and all that kind of stuff. And the devil, the devil going to tempt us with some things. And he, he come at us with lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes and the pride of life and so we're we going to go through some stuff but we got to stay on the straight and narrow, we can't give up you know because uh, like I say the devil he, he's, he's going to come at us all kind of ways but you got to stand your ground, we can't be like David David uh, 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 saw Bathsheba I'm just going to paraphrase it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he was saying she, she 36, 24, 36. And he just had to have her. And he put Uriah, her husband, on the first line and got this woman pregnant. But I like, I like what, 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 what uh, the prophet Nathan told, told, told David. He said, he said, David, he said, uh, there was a rich man had all kind of cattle. And there was a poor man that had one ewe lamb. And that poor man treated that one ewe lamb like he was one of his children. And said there was a man came in town and the rich man took the poor man one ewe lamb. Killed him, dressed him up and, 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 and they, had a, they had a feast for the man that came in town. David said to the prophet Nathan, say, say that man ought to be killed. The prophet Nathan said, you the man because here it is, you, you, you done took this man wife, took Bathsheba from you right here, put him on the front line, had him killed. But, but, but here's the thing, David went away sorrowful. But, but Psalms uh, uh, 51, I, 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 I like what David said. David said to God, blot out all my transgressions, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. David knew how to get it right with God, but the baby still died. So the sin is going to fall on somebody. And the sin fell on the baby. The baby died. David, 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 David went away sorrowful. We, 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 we got to get away from being towards us kids. Get away from the elementary and be mature and grow up in the word of God. And be rooted and grounded in the word of God. Verse, verse 22 says, But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceiving your own selves. Being doers of the word means to study. Here's what the Apostle Paul said to Timothy. He said to Timothy in, in 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, verse 15. He said, Study to show thyself approved unto God. 
Good God of mine, I'm going to shout by myself in a minute. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We have to get in this word and study this word and, and get to know this word uh, for ourselves. Because, they, like I say, the enemy is running rampant. But, but, but hear me. Hear me good. A mind that had been stretched with the word of God could never go back to its original size. This is why the apostle Paul was telling David, and he's telling us too, as we read and study the word of God, this, 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 this word is talking to us. This is why we have to live this word, speak and perform it, and tell others about God's goodness. I'm going to say it again, though. As we study the word of God, a mind that has been stressed with the word of God can never go back to its original size. Amen, somebody. Good God Almighty. But, but let, me, let, me, let me move on. Let me move on. Verse 23. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. Don't just come to church to hear the word, but be doers of the word, meaning live it, speak it, perform it, and tell others about God's goodness. And this is what we're supposed to be doing, staying in the word of God, because if we ain't got no word in us, we ain't got no fight in us. This, this is our weapon. This is what we fight the enemy with, with the word of God, because the performance is in the word of God. I just told you earlier what Jesus told Satan. Say, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that received out of the mouth of God. Amen, somebody. Amen. Uh, 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 Mark chapter 4, verses 14 and 15. Here's what it said. It said, the sword saw the word. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard Satan coming immediately, hello somebody, and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. That's why we have to be rooted and grounded in the word of God. We can't be straddling in fence and, 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 and got one foot in the church and one foot outside the church and, uh, and, and in the club on, on, on Saturday. And see, that's where the enemy wants you to be at because he know he got you. He's, he know that he know you ain't all the way in. Because the enemy will come and snatch the word right out of your heart when you're not true to the word of God, when you're not true to God and living right. We have to live it, live this word, live it, speak it, perform it, and tell others about God's goodness. We have to do that on a daily basis. Not, not just today and then do it again on, on, on next week. No, this is... This is every day. God say, be ye holy because he is holy. And holiness is a way of life. It's a lifestyle. When we say we're believers in Christ, we have to stay on the Lord's side. And don't give up because God is not going to give up on us. He'll keep you if you want to be kept. Amen, somebody. He'll keep you if you want to be kept. Verse, verse, verse 25. It says, but whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continued therein, he being not a forgetful hero, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. That means you haven't forgot God's word and you live it. Listen, listen what Mark chapter 4, verse 20 says. And these are they which are sown on good ground. I'm going to say that again. And these are they which are sown on good grounds, such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundredfold. That means you're like that tree I was just talking about. It. That 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 tree that you you you're planted in the word of God. You're steadfast, unmovable, always bounding in the work of the Lord. You, 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 you're being about God's business. That's what Jesus told his parents when they, when they, they left him in, in, in the synagogue. He, 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 he talking to all these uh, uh, educated people. I'm going I'm to I'm just, just put it like that. 
the professors and the prophets and all these people in, in the synagogue, in the temple. And his parents uh, 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 walked off and left him. They, and they, they done got miles and miles away and see that he wasn't with them. And so here's what Jesus said when they went back and got him. Because Jesus was asking questions. He was listening and asking questions in the temple. And when they got back, I'm just going to paraphrase him. I can imagine his mother said to him, boy, what, 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 what are you doing? You're supposed to be with us and we got to come back and get you. Here's what Jesus said. He said, I'm being about my father's business. Good God of mine. I will shout by myself in a minute. We have to be about God's business on a daily basis. We, 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 we got to always have a word for somebody. You know, because uh, like I said, we might be the only Bible they might ever read. And I got, I got, I got some homeboys that, that ain't saved. But, 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 but every time I talk to them, I got a word for them from Genesis to Revelation. I got a word from them. That's all I got is a word for them. You know, because uh, you, you, can, you can pray for people so much, you know what I mean? That still ain't going to bring them in. They ain't going to come in until they, till they get ready or either something happened to them. And it's like a, a, a life or death situation. And, they, and God get their attention. Some kind of way God will get your attention. But at the same time, you know, we got to continue to pray for people. Because we know the right, the prayers of the righteous are valid much. Because I remember when my, 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 my mother, my grandmother, my godmother were praying for me when, when I was a teenager. And, 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 and God kept a hedge of protection around me. And here I am. Grew up in New Hope Missionary Baptist Church. I thank God for Pastor Horton and Pastor Davis. Those men, those, those men of God were solid. They were rooted and grounded in the Word of God. They were stern. But 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 they they kept us on track. They kept us on track. Verse 26. If any man among you seem to be religious and proud of not his tongue, but deceive his own heart. This man's religion is vain. Verse 27, pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. We got to continue to stay in the word of God. We got to continue to, to, to know that God called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We are the ecclesia of God. I, 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 I see what it's saying in verse 26 and, 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 and 27 when it talks about religion. Uh, some, some folks are stuck on religion, but it's always good for change. Uh, change is always good, but, 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 but I study the word of God religiously. I study the word of God religiously. And, 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 and I remember when I was uh, uh, one of the preachers down at Gethsemane Missionary Baptist Church, me and, me and Pastor Tucker, we always went around and, 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 and took communion to the, the sick and shut in. And we had communion with them. We, we went to visit them. We can't forget about the widows, the widows and the fatherless. We have to go and visit them people because one day we're going to be there. We're we going to get up at age and, and, and we might not be able to make it to church. So we can't forget about them people. We got to go and visit them, sit down and talk with them. Share the word of God with them. Let them know we haven't forgot about them, the fatherless and the widows. Because when some people get up in age, they can't make it to church. And so uh, 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 I'm so grateful that that uh, 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 one of the ushers here, she she go and get uh, uh, Deaconess Washington and bring her to church, you know, and she do that faithfully. And so I I, I, I see it being done. So that's why I say we can't forget about the widows and, and the fatherless. We have to go visit them and, and, and take communion with them and, and, and let them know we haven't forgot about them because they done got up in age and they can't get around like they used to get around. So we have to see about them because one day, like I say, we might be there and we need someone to bring us communion, have communion with us and come visit us and look after us and, 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 and share the word of God with us. We got to be mindful. We got to be mindful. Thank God for his word. Thank God for this.
Bible study on this evening. I'm going to pray us out. Our God and our Father, we thank you, Lord God, for what our ears have heard and for what our heart have received, which is your word. We thank you for how you talk mightily, Lord God. I thank you for how you have spoken to me and spoke through me and have you have, how you have gained me a word for your people. I thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.